Hi everyone, Greeno here and welcome to another video here on my Greeno Eats channel. Now today we're heading off to pick up another magic bag and it's from a place I haven't been to before. Well, strictly speaking I've been to the chain of places before but not this particular one. So where I'm going is a place called Red Post. Now it's down in Dorset, it's on the main road between Wimborne and Dorchester I guess. Uh, now there used to be a petrol station there with a little chef next to it which sadly became derelict over the years and it's recently been redeveloped they've got a bp garage there they've got a little asda i understand and a greg's so yeah we're heading to get a couple of greg's magic bags uh, i've picked up two today just to see how they compare whether we get duplication or not there were more than five bags available so i've left plenty for other people um, but yeah i'm excited to see what we're gonna get i'm filming this on a saturday afternoon now i haven't got anything in for dinner so whatever comes in this magic bag is going to be tonight's dinner and probably tomorrow's lunch to be honest as well so let's head off to red post and see what we get actually before i set off i want to tell you a little bit about this place called red post now i'd never actually heard this place being described as that before um but i did know just down the road from there is actually a red signpost which is pretty unusual now i wasn't sure whether the place was called red post because of the red signpost or they'd made a red signpost because the place was called Red Post. <laughs> so I did a little bit of research this morning and found out that apparently that red signpost has been there for a long, long time. When we used to send convicts overseas, there was a prison in Dorchester and they used to have to march the prisoners from there to Portsmouth. Now, obviously, that's not a five minute jaunt. Um, so they had to have places to stop on the way overnight. And this red signpost used to signpost a farm that they would stop at on the way. So that's how the Red Post came to be, and that's how it came to be known as Red Post. Uh, now, a little bit of credence goes to this story as well, because just down the road from this red signpost is a pub um, that's been there for a long, 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 long time, and that's called the Botany Bay Inn, which kind of ties in with the whole Australia side of things. So that's the reason it's called Red Post. Let's go and see what we get. So I've just arrived here at the uh, the services. As you can see, there's now a Leon just about to open. It's not open yet. They're still building it by the looks of it. And here's the main event. We have a little Asda, a Greg's, just in this little shop here. Now I imagine this Asda is a pretty big boon to the local community. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere, but there's a bunch of little villages around and they're not very well served by anything. So having this on their doorstep, I reckon it's pretty useful. Anyway, I'm going to get in and get those magic bags. I'll see you when I come out. Well, folks, I have had a right result. So I've turned up here to collect the two magic bags, uh, pretty much close to the deadline. Uh, and it turned out they had another two magic bags which hadn't sold. So the guy's given them to me for nothing. I got four <laughs> magic bags from Greg's this afternoon. Wowzers. Let's get home and take a look at what we got. Right, I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear me here because we're right by a busy road. But as you can see, there is the red signpost that I talked about. This is Red Post. So it highlights a lot of the little local villages around here. Bloxworth there, Alma, the Winterbournes, Winterbourne Anderson, for example. And this is the main road, as you can see, between Dorchester and Wimborne. But I think this is pretty cool. You don't see something like this every day. Right, so I've made it back home, folks. And here we go, look, as you can see, bag one. Bag two, bag three, and bag four. Four bags for the price of two. Now I've paid two ninety five each for the two bags I paid for, so that's five pounds and ninety pence. Then I got two free, so less than six quid for all this. Now normally what I tend to do is to sort of lucky dip my way through the bag so we can see what we've got, but I think there's too much here to do that. <laughs> it will take too long, so I think I'm just going to open them up set it all out and we'll have a little look at what I've got. Well, I think we can agree that's a pretty impressive looking haul. Let's look at it in a bit closer detail. Okay, so the first two packages we have here, we have a pano chocolat. That's the only kind of pastry we've got here. And we have a corned beef bake. So that's like a pasty kind of thing. Again, that's the only sort of savory pastry we've got. 
let's move on to the sandwiches and baguettes. Right, so it's quite a selection we've got here. So over on the left hand side, we start off with a tuna salad or tuna and cucumber roll. And there's a chicken salad roll behind that. Then at the front here, we have got a ham egg salad roll. There's a ham salad baguette and a ham and cheese baguette. And over here on the right hand side, we've got two chicken mayo baguettes and a Mexican chicken baguette, which looks like you've got some uh, sort of spicy cheese or something in there. That looks pretty good. And now the sweet stuff. Right, so you can see here, there's a whole bunch of little bags of stuff. So we start up here with a triple chocolate cookie. There's a white chocolate cookie and a star biscuit, whatever that is. Similarly, a novelty bun could be anything, couldn't it? And a sticky toffee muffin there, which sounds delicious. We've got a couple of things here called pink jammies, which I have to assume are donuts of some sort. Then there's a caramel custard donut and a sugar strand donut. So I think I'm going to open a couple of these things up so we can take a little look. The things that I'm not quite sure what they are, like the novelty bun and the pink jammy, maybe. Let's see what they are. I just clocked how bright this jumper looks on camera. <laughs> I'm certainly not going to get lost in the dark wearing this one, am I? Anyway, let's have a little look at some of these things that I'm not quite sure what they are, things I haven't seen before. So we have here a star biscuit. So let's open the packet up. I mean, I think it's going to be a biscuit in the shape of a star. And guess what? <laughs> it is. There we are. So it's covered in little sugar strands or hundreds and thousands. It's got a chocolate coating on it. I'm not quite sure what kind of biscuit it is inside. Just a normal cookie of some kind or another, I guess. Now, what is a novelty bun when it's at home? That, again, could be just about anything, couldn't it? Let's have a little look at it. Okay. Whoa, <laughs> what on earth is that? <laughs> it's a tiny little muffin. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a mermaid on the top. But it's, <laughs> it's a, a, a mermaid that's been involved in some kind of accident by the looks of it. A lot of little sort of sugary stuff and icing on there. So I am sure my nine year old will get stuck into that. And a pink jammy. Again, I'm assuming this is going to be some kind of donut. I'm assuming right. There it is. Look at that. Lots of pink and white stripes. A pink iced donut. You can see little holes there where they put some jam in the middle. So, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure it's up to Krispy Kreme kind of levels, but I reckon that's going to be pretty tasty, don't you? I'm intrigued by this star biscuit. <laughs> it's got the better of me. So we're going to snap one of the little bits off of it and see what it is inside. There we go. Kind of a plain looking biscuity thing. Mm. Pretty crunchy. Very tasty. Almost shortbread kind of flavoured. A very kind of buttery biscuit crunchier than a shortbread would be but yeah that's not bad okay it's time for the pink jammy i want to know how good this is now i'm not the world's biggest fan of donuts and i definitely don't bother with Krispy cream donuts i think they're very overpriced for what they are but this looks pretty good so let's find a bit where they put the jam in and give it a try Mm. Do you know what? That's all right. <laughs> I like a proper jam donut. You know the ones that are just covered in sugar. I'm never a big fan of iced donuts, but this because it has the jam and the icing on the top, it's still got that same flavour. Very very sweet, but the jam coming through as well. Look at that. That is yummy. Raspberry jam. Yeah, I'm going to finish that in a minute. <laughs> well, I think we can safely say that's dinner sorted for tonight and lunch for tomorrow. What an absolute haul that is. Bear in mind, I paid less than £6 for all that food. 
So we've got, what, five baguettes there, three rolls, a corned beef pasty thing, and a load of sweet stuff, which I'm sure the kids are going to enjoy. Like I say, I don't think you'll find a better haul than that anywhere. So I think I just timed it just right. I was right towards the end of the window for the pickup. So that meant that the leftover bags, they were expecting nobody else to order. So they just gave them to me for nothing. So <laughs> ordered two bags, paid for two bags, got four. Absolute result. If you've seen anybody get a similar result to that, let me know in the comments section below because I'd love to check out their video. I reckon this is by some margin the best haul I've had and I defy anybody else to have a better one. Right then, that's it from me, folks. I'm going to go and eat the rest of that uh, pink jammy donut. Absolutely delicious, that is. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget, click the little thumbs up. It really does help with the channel. And if you're new around here and not yet subscribed, then why not consider clicking the subscribe button and dinging your little bell for notifications. It's all completely free, and that way you won't miss any of the content coming up on the channel. Anyway, time to go and put all this in the fridge. I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.